This rare plate is taken from the writings of Robert Flood, the name of which is, the principle of the great creation or the creation of the great universe. These plates are not issued just to amuse or entertain but rather to instruct and the student remembers best that which he has the greatest amount of trouble in securing and he prizes more highly the thing which he is forced to labor for himself. For that reason the explanations accompanying the plates are very meager, leaving it for the student himself to work out the problem. The following points may be of help, however, in giving the student a basic principle with which to work. First, the plate represents the creation of the universe out of the four elements of earth, fire, air and water, as you will see if you study the picture. These four elements represent the four fixed signs of the zodiac which we commonly know as Taurus, Leo, Scorpio and Aquarius. These four elements represent also the four ethers and it is the nature spirits working through these elements who bring forth the material universe out of chaos. Each one of these elements is under control of one of the four great life waves which have already reached human consciousness, or passed it. Second, the four elements as shown in the plate also represent the four bodies of man and the spiritual principle which animates them. According to the ancients, the air represents the mind and as it surrounds all the other elements it illustrates how the universe is protected by the encircling power of the divine mind. The flames represent the fire principle in nature, the base of motion, heat and emotion and the great urge behind action and the power of desire and is particularly correlated with the human heart and the red blood. The third element, water, is located in the solar plexus of the human body and represents the ethers which play so great a part in the evolution of man. These waters represent vitality and are the basis of growth. They're lunar in their power and are susceptible to the crystallizing influence of the moon. The fourth element represents the physical body, the earth, or as occultists call it the last creation. And these four added together contain the vital elements of the seed or the germical essence and protoplasm and are the basis of all expression. For each element creates the others out of itself and reacting upon each other they bring into existence all things in the lower world. Third, these elements also represent the cross for they are the essences in which is buried the spiritual germ life in man. The four elements represent bodies and have been symbolized by the ancients as a cube. These bodies limit expression. Consequently they are said to crucify their lord and master. Fourth, the reaction of these elements one upon another is the basis of growth and the harmonization of their principles is the basis of initiation and mastership. They are the principles with which man creates his own universe out of himself by the purification within himself of these four vital streams of life and power. Further study will bring to the student's mind other wonderful facts in connection with this problem. But with this as a base, great things are possible to the thinking individual.